welcome to another tutorial for today's tutorial we are going to focus on double angles so as i talked about previously in the compound angles we have a formula like sine a plus b and also cos a plus b if we make a equal to b or b equal to a we are going to get something like sine to a to be equal to two sine a cos a this is because for sine a plus b as we discussed earlier is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so if a is equal to b we are going to get sine a plus b which is equal to sine 2 so sine a plus a here which is equal to sine 2a which is equal to we are going to get sine a cos a plus cos a sine a and down the day we are going to get sine 2a to be equal to 2 sine a cos a so this is one trick identity that we can get from the double angle so let's take note of it so in case i have something like sine 4a i can rewrite this as 2 sine 2a cos 2a this is because here it's sine 2a here we have sine 4a so i can do something like sine into bracket 2 outside 2a so for my sine 2a it's equal to sine a cos a which is this one so if i have an extra 2 there then that will replace get sine 2a cos 2a that's it so basically when i also have sine 8a i can also rewrite it as 2 sine 4a cos 4a and so on that's how you can transform these ones into an alternative form based on this let's look at what we can do further with these double angles so in the compound angle formula again if we have cos a plus b and we are making b to be equal to a or a equal to b depending on whatever angle we are interested in we are going to get cos to a equal to cos square a minus sine square a this came into existence based on the fact that for the compound angle we have cos into bracket a plus b to be equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b based on this we can come up to the point that if the a is equal to b then we can say our cos 2a or cos 2b should be equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b so after all we are going to get cos 2a to be equal to cos squared a so here we are saying that let's a equal to b so i need to change here to a here to a and at the end of the day we are going to get cos squared a minus sine square a but you have to remember that we can generate further trigonometric equation from this or identity from this because based on one of my tutorial we established the fact that cos square a plus sine square a is equal to one or cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to one whereas a is equal to theta a is just the angle so based on that, if we want to replace the cos square over there, we can make the cos square the subject. And therefore, we can say that our cos square A is equal to 1 minus sine square A. So when we replace this part to this part, we are going to get cos 2A to be equal to cos 2A to be equal to 
1 minus sine square a minus sine square a. And at the end of the day, we are going to get cos 2a to be equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. So this is one, another identity that you must keep in mind. It's very important. In case I don't want to replace the cos, but I want to write everything in terms of cos. Like, I don't want to like write everything in terms of sign, but I want to write everything in terms of cos. What you can do also is that I'll make sign the subject from the previous identity that we derived. And then I'll get 1 minus cos square A. So when I replace this one in this main equation, I'm going to get something like cos 2A to be equal to the first one is cos square a, cos square a minus sine square a. For the sine square a, what I can do is that I'm replacing this one by this. So I'm going to get 1 minus cos square a. And at the end of the day, I'm going to get cos 2a to be equal to cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a. So at the end of the day, I'm going to get cos 2a to be equal to 2 cos square a minus 1. So this is also a very important equation. So in fact, if I'm being given sine square a, and I want to simplify this, I can write it in an alternative form whereby it will be easy for me to do whatever I want. So in this case, if I have this, I can rewrite everything in terms of this equation. I will send this one here to the other side. So I'm going to get 2 sine square a to be equal to here it's having positive right yes negative for the sine part is negative and i bring it here it's positive here and i'm sending the cos 2a to the right side so i'm going to get one minus cos 2a so at the end of the day i'm going to get sine square a to be equal to one over two into big brackets one minus cos 2a so this is very important identity as well that you need to know because as you are going on, you'll be encountering them a lot wherever you go. Let's look at the other parts. In case I'll be meeting cos square A and I want to replace it by this, what I will do is that I'll have, I know that my two cos square A is equal to this. So after making the two cos square A the subject, I'm going to get one plus but I'm sending this one to the left plus cos 2a. And for that matter, making cos square a the subject, I'm going to get 1 over 2 into brackets 1 plus cos 2a. So you can notice that the cos square a is not equal also and uh, not only equal to 1 minus sine square a but it's also equal to 1 over 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 2a and it is easy for me to derive so in case you don't meet something like this and you meet it in such a way that whatever is inside here is a multiple of this you just have to change this so if i get to i get a question like cos squared 2a my resultant answer is going to be 1 over 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4a as simple as that so these are very important identities that you must know so based on what we have done already on this let's look at something here in order to better our understanding assuming that you don't have cos 2a but you have maybe cos 4a and you want to simplify it we know that the cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1 2 cos square a minus 1 it's just a matter of having cos 4a, we can also do it like cos square 2a minus sine square 2a, or you can also rewrite it as 2 cos square 2a minus 1, as I did over here. So this is very important. It's just a matter of knowing how to manipulate things in order to get whatever you want. You can also practice with cos 6a. What is the resultant answer that you're supposed to get? You can pause the video and try your hands on this but based on this you are supposed to get 2 cos square 3a minus 1 just try hand on it and see whether you can get this result we are supposed to do the tan one but i'm giving to you as an assignment so you have to try 
tan to a and get me the resultant answer just pause the video and try for tan to a based on the compound angle and based on the information that I provided above you can you are going to get something like two tan a over one minus tan square a so you can try your hands on it to see how we came about this so this is very useful information these are very useful identity that you need to keep in mind it's very 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 important very 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 important so to summarize everything about double angles to summarize everything about double angles we made our mind that if a is equal to b then we are going to have a one common angle and based on that we will come out the various trigonometric identities the first one that we came about it's sine 2a equal to 2 sine a cos a the next we use that call a uh, function to try our hands on the various aspect whereby the the constant inside is not only 2a but it's a multiple it can be 4a it can be 6 it can be 8a and you know how we were able to write the final result we also came about cos 2a to be equal to cos square a minus sine square a and we use that to establish the point whereby we can simplify cos 2a to have 1 minus sine square 2 sine square a and for that matter if i want to make sine square the subject i'm going to get sine square a equal to 1 minus cos square a and then we did same for cos and if you can see you can realize that the only difference here is the sign between the sign and the cos if you're having sign here as you are value that you as you are listing that you want to simplify you have only have to change the sign for the cost so it's very very important very very important and when you have the cost here the sign here is what plus that's all so looking at also the um the compound angles these are also very important ones that we came about that one we just combined these ones and we we're able to come up with very useful trigonometric identities whereby if i have sine a cos b i'll have one over two sine a plus b plus sine a minus b this is being used in communication systems a lot in simplification and you will also use it in your calculus class a lot so this is a very useful to as trigonometric as 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 mathematics is concerned or as engineering is concerned or any course that you are doing that will involve any another mathematical analysis you may encounter a situation whereby you need such identities to simplify questions to be able to make it simple for you so thank you for watching and you will see me in my next tutorial